This is a hybrid airship designed for lifting cargo. It has three inflatable hulls, with helium providing 80% of its lift. It has thrusters which can change direction, allowing it to take off and land vertically. They also allow the airship to fly much more like a conventional aircraft. It does away with landing gear, basically making use of hovercraft technology to get it on the ground or onto water. This demonstrator is actually three times smaller than the commercial version. Lockheed isn't the only aerospace outfit working on new airship technology though. Rival cargo carriers are being developed in the US and UK. However, the boffins at Skunk Works have developed a novel way to keep their aircraft airworthy. In order to see how they do that, I've got to get inside the inflated prototype airship. So this is how you enter the inside of the airship. Now you've got to try and make sure that you don't lose any of the air that's already in there. As airships are inflatable, they're susceptible to damage, which can create holes in its skin. Finding and patching those holes is an important task. Ever wondered what it's like to be inside a bouncy castle? Welcome to the inside of an airship. Somewhere in here, there should be a spider. This is our spider. Or to be more precise, it's one half of the spider because the other half is on the other side of this aircraft's skin. It's held together magnetically. On the other side, there's a light which is shining upwards. If it finds a hole, it'll see it because there'll be light shining through the skin of the airship. If it finds a hole, its job is then to patch it up. In fact, just under here we can see a patch which has been completed earlier. Just there. We have the opportunity to go inside right. that airship. Normally, you wouldn't be able to go inside it. A human being wouldn't be able to go inside it, would they? Uh, that's right. It's full of helium, so it's hard to breathe in there. You have to wear oxygen masks and do that kind of thing to get inside. Um, also, it's very hard to plug a hole on the top of the airship from the inside of the airship. There's no way to get scaffolding up there to get up to patch the hole. So patching it with a robot from the inside allows you to patch those holes without having to climb on top of the envelope. Lockheed aims to have their hybrid airships operational within two years, at which point swarms of spiders will perform robotic repairs.